Happy birthday, possibly. Congratulations on it maybe being your birthday. Although, statistically speaking, it is very unlikely that today is your birthday. If you run the numbers, only 0.274% of all days are your birthday. I guess a more positive way to look at it is today you're currently enjoying, on average, 0.274% of your birthday. And even, what are you celebrating on a normal birthday? I mean, approximately one lap around the sun? Because a leap year doesn't really line up anyway. The best you can say is for a standard orthodox birthday, you're simply celebrating the fact that the calendar on that day bears a striking resemblance to what the calendar looked like when you first emerged from the womb. We can do better than that. Today, for example, I'm exactly 11,987 days old. That's a prime number. Today is my prime numbered birthday. That's much better. It's far more mathematically interesting to celebrate prime numbers of days than orbits around the sun. Even better, today is my 1,438th prime birthday. Prime birthdays come far more frequently. They're more mathematically interesting and there's more of them. In fact, if you approximate a human as living around about 100 years, so you go from 0 to 10 to the 2, across those 100 years you get, let's say, 36,524 days. It does vary ever so slightly depending on when you were born compared to where the leap years are. And as you come in and out of phase with them, as, according to birth, the numbers change ever so slightly. But on average, you're going to get 3,871 prime numbered birthdays across 100 years of existence. That's 10.6% of all days being your prime birthday. As you get older, your prime numbered birthdays will become less common. It's just because as numbers get bigger, fewer of them are prime numbers. To start with, the going is pretty good. For the first 10 years of your existence from 0 to 10, which covers about 3,652 days, of those, 510 of them will be prime. That's 14%. It's not bad. By middle age, though, things aren't so good. For your fifth decade, which is from 40 through to 50, the same number of days, only 383 of them are actually prime numbers. That's 10.5%. It's dropped a fair bit. And by the end of your 100 years, from 90 through to 100, you will only have 347 prime numbered days in that decade. That's 9.5%. Which is not to say, though, that the prime numbers consistently get worse. Even though overall they do, prime numbers are pretty random, and they can actually fluctuate a decent amount. So, for example, during your 30s, when you are 31, for that whole year, you don't get many prime numbered birthdays. You only get 33 prime days. That's 9.04%. That's a pathetic percentage as far as prime numbers go. However, the exact next year, the entire time you were 32, that's the heyday of your prime 30s. You get 42 primes in that year, that's 11.51%. That's much better. Now overall, it does get gradually worse and worse and worse, and if humans were to live to be older than 100, it will continue to tail off. In my approximation, your last year of existence from 99 through to 100, 8.77% of those days will be prime numbered. Now, should you be wondering, wait a minute, what if I live to be much older than 100? Do things continue to get bad? Yes, they do. I've checked the numbers. Should you live to be a 1,000? For a start, you should be absolutely ecstatically happy. And then you should be rapidly depressed, because for that last year of your life, between 999 and 1,000, only 8.2% of those days will be prime. Should you wonder about 10,000? I've done the numbers for that as well. Between the age of 9,999 and 10,000, only 6.03% of those days are prime. I also double-checked for 100,000. So between 99,999 and 100,000 years old, only 5.75% of those days are prime. And it continues to get worse. Should you want to know what it is for a million, you're going to have to work it out yourself. It was at this point that my prime numbered birthdays program crashed, and I decided to do something else with my life. Should you work it out though, please do let me know. One very valid critique of the whole prime numbered days birthdays thing is that they get a little bit too frequent. If you're having a birthday every 10 days for the entirety of your life, the novelty will wear off. But thankfully, Math still comes to the rescue. There are mathematically interesting birthdays which are far less frequent. So for example, do you know when your one billion second birthday was? I know when my was. I had a party and everything. I had a cake. 
Admittedly, I had one candle per billion seconds, but still, the point remains. And what about your 1,000 month birthday? What about your 50,000 hours birthday? In fact, there are these amazing milestones that many people hit and they never notice. So what I've done is gone through and calculated all the nice kind of whole numbered multiples of convenient time intervals so you can then celebrate it. Now, I can't give you exact dates. That's mainly because I don't know when your birthday is. Sorry. And also because it does depend ever so slightly on when you were born compared to leap years. And so it depends where you are in a leap year cycle, how many days you have in each particular age that you're at. But what I can do is give you rough ages. I can tell you the age in standard Earth years that you should be when the more interesting mathematical birthdays will occur. After that, it's up to you to find them. So I'm going to rattle through this list in semi-fast fashion. Simply listen out for any years which are in your near to immediate future. And then if you look at the link that I'll put underneath this video, if you go into some of those, put in your birth date exactly, hopefully to the nearest second, if you're not sure when that was because your memory's a bit hazy, just ask your mum, she will remember. You can then find your exact mathematical birthdays so you can celebrate them in fashion. Here we go. We'll start with months because that's the largest time interval. You will be 20 when you have your 250 month birthday. You'll be 41 when you turn 500 months. At some point when you're 62, you will pass 750 months. And when you're 83, you'll have your 1000th month birthday. Moving down to weeks. When you're 19, you will pass 1,000 weeks old. When you're 38, you'll go straight past 2,000 weeks. At some point when you're 57, you go past 3,000 weeks. 4,000 weeks is when you're 76. And 5,000 weeks is some point when you're 95. Coming down to days. These are much less common. These are absolutely worth celebrating. You turn 10,000 days at some point when you're 27. I remember that. What a hoot. You hit 20,000 days when you're 54. Still looking forward to that. And you hit 30,000 days when you're 82. You only get three of these days. Don't miss them. Now beyond that, we're getting down to the realm of hours. You turn 10,000 hours when you're 11. Most of you have probably missed that. It's okay. Coming up, you might have 20,000 hours. That's when you're 22. 30,000 hours is when you're 34. 40,000 hours is when you're 45. 50,000 hours is when you're 57. Oh, you remember? 57. That's when you turned 30,000 weeks. What a year. Now, beyond that, you get 60,000 hours when you're 68, 70,000 hours when you're 79, and 80,000 hours when you're 91. Coming down now to minutes. You turn 10 million minutes when you're 19, or which you may remember was when you turned 1,000 weeks old. What a coincidence. You hit 20 million minutes when you're 38, oh, which you may remember. That was the same age when you turned 2,000 weeks old. You hit 30 million minutes when you're 57. Oh, you may remember. That's the year when you hit 3,000 weeks. Okay, there's a pattern here. It's because you have a nice standard multiple of minutes in weeks. If you work it out, you can see why you always get the same years every time. Although 57 has the added bonus of being when you're also 50,000 hours old. So that's three birthdays in the same year. What a year, 57. Now beyond that, you will of course hit 40 million minutes when you're 76, and you'll hit 50 million minutes when you're 95. Now, seconds. You get half a billion seconds when you're 15. You get one billion seconds when you're 31. Do not miss that birthday. You get one and a half billion seconds when you're 47. You get two billion seconds when you're 63. And you get two and a half billion seconds when you're 79. Oh, which is the same year when you get 70,000 hours. And finally, 95, not only do you get 3 billion seconds, you also get 5,000 weeks and 5 million minutes all in the same year. What a year. Not since you were 57 have you had that much fun in the same year. Okay, so those are all the nice round numbered intervals you could celebrate for your birthdays. But yes, it's all a little bit base tenny. So we've got one last thing here, a bit of a reoccurring favorite at Number Hub, Pi. Why just celebrate the rational number of years? Why not celebrate some irrational birthdays? Because Pi years is three years and 52 days, so just under two months. So you can actually celebrate your multiple of Pi birthdays. So you turn 10 Pi when you're 31 years and 152 days old. You turn pi cubed birthdays when you're 31 years and three days old. So that's easy to remember. Three days after your 31st birthday, you turn pi cubed. 
I remember that too. And finally, the most irrational of all birthdays you're going to come across, pi to the power of pi. Pi to the pi is 36 years, 169 days when measured in standard years, which means you can have the most irrational birthday with a transcendental party that you will ever have. A final word on all of this. Most people miss all these wonderful mathematical birthdays. In fact, you've possibly missed some yourself. What you need to do now, look up the websites I've put in the description, mark these in your calendar, preferably some kind of electronic calendar, and then make sure an alarm goes off to remind you a significant mathematical milestone is coming up. Even more important though, Look up your friends' birthdays, because they're probably going to miss these as well. Other people who aren't quite as mathematically excited as we are don't even notice when a billion seconds slips by. So put your friends' birthdays into the same websites, mark them down in your calendar, and then surprise them with a happy billion seconds card on the appropriate day. Because friends don't let friends miss mathematical milestones.